indeed. Now, here's a remarkable story of lost and found. On April the 10th, 1912, two special trains left London. They were carrying passengers to the Titanic, which, of course, sailed from Southampton later that day. Two carriages thought to be from those trains have been found in a yard in South Wales. Members of the British Titanic Society are planning to rescue them from the threat of the scrap heap. Our transport correspondent, Paul Clifton, reports. Quietly falling apart. These wooden carriages are part of Britain's railway and maritime history. So this is the second class. This was the second class. Yeah. Yes, that's right. They haven't moved in decades. Two special boat trains left London Waterloo on the morning of April the 10th, 1912. The 0730 carried second and third class passengers and two hours later the first class train followed. Here it is at platform 11. These pictures were taken by Father Brown, a passenger on Titanic. And here's a postcard depicting the train arriving in Southampton docks. And these are probably two of the carriages on that train. Back then they were the latest style, newly built at Eastleigh Works for the London and South Western Railway. We think there's a strong possibility that this was the carriage that on one of the boat trains, the two boat trains that left Southampton on the morning of the 10th of April, 1912. We can't be certain at this stage, but there is an enormously strong possibility. As you can see, these are in a very bad way. For almost 30 years, they've been sitting here at Blynarvon in South Wales. I've seen worse, but not much. The important thing is the possible direct connection to taking the passengers to Titanic and possibly taking a lot of those passengers to their death. Look at this, John. Fantastic. 15 years ago, I followed the same team of Titanic historians to France. This is the same pattern that was used on the door frames in Olympic and Titanic. They'd spotted a wreck called Nomadic, built to ferry passengers on and off Titanic at Cherbourg. They rescued it, and today the ship is a focal point of the Titanic quarter in Belfast. Could something similar be done for these carriages? We would love to see the carriage, or both carriages, fully restored and put on display they're an important part of Southampton's history and an important part of maritime history. The carriages have to leave this site in the summer. If they're not moved, the owner has been told they will be scrapped. Well, we were told that if they were still here after the 30th of June, they would be seized, burnt and cut up. I care about these things. I've owned them for about um, nearly 30 years now, but. All we've been able to do is to keep the wet out of them and stop things getting any worse. If these blighters try to burn them, I'll shut myself up inside and they can burn me with them. Right now, there is no plan, but there's plenty of ambition and enthusiasm and time is running out. The deadline to stop these vehicles being scrapped is just two months away. Paul Clifton, BBC South Today, Blind Avon, South Wales.